Hey, this is Brent Arnold. All right, so you've created your killer iOS app. You're ready to submit it to the App Store. You're so excited. You don't you can hardly contain yourself. So, obviously you've registered. You've got yourself an iOS developer account. And at this point, you need to make sure you are the team agent. Meaning, if you bought yourself you know you paid 99 bucks for your own developer account then you're you are the team agent if you work for a company and they have a company developer account then you may not be the team agent you'll know of course because you'll get all sorts of emails anytime one of the developers requests a certificate all this fun stuff so if you don't see these things and you don't have access to them, then there's a good chance you may not be a team agent. And you'll have difficulty signing your app for App Store submission. So, App Store submission. Sounds like sounds like you're wrestling or something. I submit, I submit. Okay. Here I am. I'm in the iOS provisioning portal. And I'm going to walk through the steps to create the distribution certificate and the distribution profile. Uh, sorry, provisioning profile. So the first thing you need to do is click on certificates. Here, you've already done this for development, right? So you're familiar with it. At this point, you would choose distribution. And here, if you haven't done it already, you would end up creating the distribution certificate. Now, how do you do that? Well, it's the exact same process that you went through when you did the development certificate. If you forgot how to do that, follow my other tutorials and they explain it. Basically, you go into Keychain Access, you request a certificate, and you follow that and you do that and then, then it's all good. I've already done this. I have a distribution certificate. At this point, you then need to create an app ID. And this is something to consider for your App Store submission. You want to create an app ID that is unique to the device, uh, sorry, to the application. Now, technically, you can use though you can use a um, app ID that is for a set of apps, for multiple apps, and there may be a reason for that that you would like to use for your app distribution but if you choose to use this kind of anonymous one so notice over here i've got this you know if i just use a star so it's a it's a anonymous app id based on your certificates you won't have access to the ability to create things like in-app purchase and work with the game center so it's always a good habit if you're ready to submit your app to the app store that you create a unique app ID specific to that app. Now, uh, you would click new app ID. You would give this a description. So you would say uh, my cool app or whatever it is you call it. You can create a bundle seed ID. Uh, this, you know, there's say, hey, if you're creating a suite, blah, 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 share them, same, da, da, da. You don't need to worry about that. If you, you know, you can create a new one, you can reuse I would generate new if I'm going to a specific. And then here is where you would have the app ID and you would make it specific. So I would say, for example, com.tutorials by ibrent dot. And then I would say, you know, my cool app or whatever it is that it's called. Then you go ahead and choose submit. Okay. So at this point, you've created a unique app ID for your app and now we go to provisioning once we're in provisioning we want to click over to distribution and for distribution um, this is for a previous app that I did go ahead and create a new distribution provisioning profile specific for the app it just makes it cleaner uh, again technically you can use different things uh, you can you know use similar profiles anyway uh, I would just get into the habit of using a unique distribution provisioning profile for each app. So go ahead and give this a name. Again, I want to say my cool app profile. Okay. 
Then we select the app ID and we're choosing the one specific for the app. And here, notice, of course, we don't select devices because we're not uh, going to share this with our testers. You know, it's not, it's ready to go for the provisioning uh, the app store. Go ahead and click submit. Now, at this point, you have the profile and it says pending. Go ahead and refresh the browser and lo and behold, it's ready. Now, this is very important that you create the distribution provision profile and your certificate and then download them and sign your app so that when you go to the App Store and you do the uh, application loader where you upload the app, it what it does is it connects to your iOS account and it sees that you have a uh, profile and it validates it and then you go into iTunes Connect and you create uh, a new app for submission and then you can associate it with that. So we'll cover that in another tutorial but for now that is how you create a distribution uh, profile. One thing to keep in mind make sure you label this in a way that you will remember that it is a distribution profile. Uh, you could I should have probably gone a little further and said my cool app distribution profile. The reason for it is that here I am looking at my provisioning profiles and I see three of them and I gotta remember okay which one is which. Well this one's ad hoc because I named it ad hoc. This one is the name of the app so I can remember that. But just keep that in mind otherwise it gets a little confusing. Alright so it's very simple Creating a distribution certificate is the same as development, but you do it within the distribution tab. And the provisioning profile is nearly identical to creating a development, but you do it within the distribution tab and you select for App Store. All right, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.